morning. <laughs> it's uh, cold. How's it going with everybody? Hope everybody's doing great, having a wonderful day, or had a wonderful day, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, we started out about 28 degrees this morning. I think it's up to about 30 now. Woohoo! And of course, another wonderful day of clearing brush, or clearing trees, and bamboo, and yada yada yada. Jeff's been out here since the sun came up, a little before probably. He's not wearing a jacket because he's already. Oh yeah, I'm already warm. Been working and sweating and um i haven't <laughs> i've already got i already got my little fire going so i'm staying pretty warm we've had a couple of comments on how i use my weed eater to clear little small trees and and bam, bam, bamboo <laughs> at, at the base where we cut it at the base and then we've also got another tool that we're using on top of that, as uh, inspiration from watching someone else, and we'll get to that here in a minute. So, so we're just gonna kind of talk about the tools, the two tools we want to discuss today, and maybe invite any comments or feedback y'all have from us. You can leave those below, and we're going to just show you these tools and show you how they work for us. All I'll right. let him do that. Well, with the weed eater attachment piece, it's just one of those. Uh, I think they call them brush cutter attachments. Of course, I've taken off the brush cutter because normally they're like three or four like big points on them. I actually haven't tried using those. I just thought the uh, good old trusty saw blade idea would work pretty good. And that's just taking off that other piece, you know, and I ended up having to put like a little washer flush with the saw blade arbor hole and to match the, the threaded spot coming out to keep it stable in there. And it's been working wonderful. Uh, and of course, I'm just using my little Greenworks battery operated one, uh, 40 volt. I'm pretty sure if you got a gas powered one, it'd work even better. Uh, so, but it's been working pretty good. And I'll give you a showing of that here in just a second. So now to get on to the other tool that was a inspiration type thing, watching this guy do something, we went a little bit different direction, but it's uh, Josh from Stony Ridge Farmer YouTube channel. We have several featured channels on our page and I reached out to several of them. Josh from Stony Ridge, or Josh the Stony Ridge Farmer, he was, one of the very first channels we ever turned on. We've learned so much from him, so please go check out his channel, he's great. And on a personal note, he is sick right now, so we wish him the best and hope that he gets better soon. Definitely. The inspiration from him on this came from? He was using a, I think a neighbor's actually, uh, steel, 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 little, like pruning chainsaw. Adorable it's, little thing. It, it's a cute little thing. It's it's lightweight. I think it's got like a little four inch little chainsaw blade on it. And I think he said it was around about $150 for it. We looked in, I mean, I kind of looked into it. We don't like the one tool type things. We, we want like a tool that's a multi-tool. I don't like one use items. It, yeah. If it only has one use, it, there are some. For sure, that for sure that you, that you just gotta have. I mean, I guess, but one use items don't appeal to me. I like to be able to use things for multiple things. And then we got on the thought of, well, now this is a, and it, it was a cordless, and took it, a, it took a battery. It was great. We immediately thought of bamboo when we oh, watched yeah. him do this because of just the sheer amount of bamboo we have. If we could just. You know, have that little thing and cut, 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 you know, cut. Have one hand free and the other hand, you know, to be able to grab it. Because you have to hold it when you cut it because it's yeah. heavy. It'll pull back on the blade. And so it was, you know, it, it takes a battery too. And we started looking at them and I'm like, oh, that's just another battery with another type of battery charger. And I kind of like to try to stay with not having to have all this space taken up by different chargers, different batteries and everything else. I started looking and started thinking about it and saw that now 
Okay, now you get to get my coffee. Ryobi makes a little, uh, and I'm pretty sure all the other big name tools do too, a one-handed reciprocating saw that's brushless. So you can kind of use it a whole lot without, you know, burning up the brushes in them, you know, and just keep going at it. And I ended up thinking about putting a pruning blade on it and works fantastic. Plus, it's a reciprocating saw. I can use it for everything else, and I have actually used it for quite a bit. Plus, I have a lot of Ryobi stuff. They all take the same battery. So it's it's turned out really great. So Josh, thanks for the idea, you know, of something small and handheld. Small and handheld, and it, it works pretty good. And especially now, my left shoulder's kind of giving me out a little bit of problem. So if I can use this, of course, and cut down little limbs off trees so that it's less of me having to pick up the big chainsaw and putting the wear and tear on the big chainsaw of cutting down all the little bitty limbs and and all that and and the chains sharpening the chains and sharpen those chains so this has just I think turned out to be great I kind of looked at some of the reviews on how quick it would cut through you know three inches worth of limb or something you know those little chainsaw type handheld ones pruners and this thing cuts through just about as quick um so it, it's worked out pretty good so if, if you got a little handheld reciprocating saw uh works great to trim up all these little limbs to get all that stuff out of your way so that you can get underneath to cut the tree down and then it's been working great on the bamboo and uh course I'll give you a little demonstration of it just, just to show you, you know. and it's one of those things where we knew this existed but for some reason it didn't click and it takes inspiration from others to others. see those things for it to click with you I will leave a link to Josh's channel down below we have other channels that we want to mention and we will do that as we go along when something from their channel gives us the inspiration for something we're about to do we will include that in our videos so you can see some of these other channels big and small that really give us the inspiration to do what we do all right well let me get you showing on a few of how these two little items work out pretty well So see, that works out really nice to be able to get all that brush out of your way. So now I can get down here and, well, once I get all this stuff out of the way, to just to cut in and get to the base of the trees a lot better. So that was a bunch of small stuff. Let's see if I've got anything that's a little bigger to kind of show you. Now I can kind of go into this one if I wanted to. And, and if I wanted to cut it down a little bit, we can just... And that, I mean, that's, I don't know, about an inch and a half. And it, and it cuts through pretty quick, you know. Of course, you know, a little chainsaw deal looks like, I mean, it may cut through probably a little quicker and everything, but that was our idea was it was, you know, you're going to have to sharpen those blades up. This is just pop in another pruning blade, and these pruning blades last a pretty good while because of the big teeth and everything on them. That way you can kind of just one-handed this stuff and it's not a real big heavy tool you know like either a chainsaw or you have to use two hands to cut with i mean it works really great and of course you know yeah it's, it's easier to change these out you just pop it out pop another one in you know like i said then you gotta take a chainsaw and you gotta sharpen Boo, sharpen, boo, sharpen. So, and then you don't have to worry about, you know, 
oiling it because, you know, I don't think that those little handheld ones had like an automatic oiler. So you actually had to kind of like, every once in a while, carry your little bottle of oil with you to oil up everything, you know, to, to keep it running good, so. Well, and again, if we only had a few things to cut here and there, that'd be different. Yeah. But sure. we have more. More, a little bit. Now, yeah, we've talked about this before. I think we've probably showed a few people, but just in case if y'all missed it and just tuning in, this works out pretty good too because you can get right down on the ground with it. And it works quick, it works pretty fast. Um, I've really enjoyed it and I've been playing around with it. And I mean, you can even take out a little bit bigger trees with it. You know, you got these little bitty ones, which the little brush blades would, would cut through these pretty easily. But I mean, this works pretty well as two. I mean, one little, one little whack with it, and it's one little whack and it's done. But I mean, this is about an inch and a half or so. Saves your back from having to get down on the ground with it. And, well, maybe an inch and a quarter. But I've been taking out some stuff that's about two inches or so with this little blade. Of course, this blade's getting a little dull. I need to change it out because I've been using it for a few hours now already this morning. And well, I've used it last week too. So it works great. And like I said, if you had probably a big gas powered weed eater or a bigger voltage, you know, I've just got this 40 volt that I've had for quite a while. It'd probably eat it up a lot faster, but it, it really works pretty good. It's been a it's been a saver of the back to be able just to knock down a whole bunch of little bitty things. So hopefully that gave you some ideas of a couple of tools you can use. Any ideas you have that will make things easier for us. We are all ears. So we're gonna get back to work. We're not gonna bore you with us clearing land for hours upon hours <laughs> so y'all have a great day and we will see you next time have a great wonderful one be careful be safe can we see y'all next time have a good one later guys